before the Tesla bot, before Sophia, before Pepper, before Atlas and before Mark Zuckerberg, there was Asimo. Nice to see you again. Ah, I remember you from a while back, Asimo. Nice to see you again. Asimo, or Advanced Step in Innovative Mobility, endured for 20 plus years after ushering in the modern humanoid robotics era, and then dipped just as the market was heating up. Asimo's unveiling in 2000 generated immense excitement. Anticipation was fueled by years of secrecy surrounding Honda's humanoid robotics program. The original Asimo stood 1.3 meters or 4 feet 3 inches, roughly the height of an average 8 to 10 year old child. The 2000 Asimo walked at a pace of 1.6 kilometers or 1 mile per hour. It could climb and descend stairs but was known for its mishaps. Asimo was much more public-facing than its predecessors. Its friendly, futuristic appearance was intended to be non-threatening and approachable. The robot's backpack-like structure housed its batteries and computing systems, which delivered advanced capabilities for the Y2K era. Asimo recognized simple voice commands and could respond with pre-programmed actions. Its camera vision recognized faces, gestures, and objects in its environment. Its multi-fingered hands could perform basic tasks like carrying items and opening doors. Asimo was initially intended for research and development and promotional purposes, but Honda envisioned a future where robots like it would become essential. By the fifth and final iteration in 2018, Asimo could run at speeds up to 9 kilometers or just over 5.5 miles per hour. Humanoid's manipulation skills were advanced enough for high-precision tasks like serving drinks and assembling components. Its advanced AI prioritized tasks and adapted to behavior in real time. Though its one-hour battery life limited sustained use, Asimo's compact design, advanced mobility, and ability to navigate autonomously seemingly made future commercialization hopeful. But then Honda pulled the plug. While Asimo was an impressive technological advancement, it was expensive to build, operate, and maintain. As the curtains closed on Asimo, a new generation of humanoid robots emerged. They've built on the foundation that Asimo laid, integrating advanced AI and autonomous capabilities. And in some ways, they're still catching up with Asimo. Who knows? Maybe Honda will bring Asimo back into the humanoid robotics fray. It's hard to imagine the idea isn't at least being entertained with the hype surrounding humanoids.